In this third and final part of creating accessible PDF files and presentations, we will learn how to use Adobe Acrobat Pro to create a fully accessible PDF file. We're going to use a different program. We're going to use Adobe's Acrobat Pro DC. And faculty should remember that they do have access to this. What's important though is that you may have to ask to be added and this can be done by adding a service ticket to get the Adobe Creative Cloud. All right, so what have I done here? I have opened this file using Acrobat Pro DC. Now I'll navigate to the Tools tab once I have this, and it's important to make sure that you add the Accessibility tool, which I have open, and also the Action Wizard, which I have open. Once I add those tools, they'll appear in my right sidebar. We'll go back over to the PDF. Notice here's my accessibility tool and here's my action wizard. We'll start here with selecting the action wizard and you'll get a series of lists that it wants us to perform in terms of actions. The first one is make accessible. And as you look through this menu here, it talks about uh, setting up your text, recognizing different formats, and running uh, language tests and an accessibility check. So you just want to hit start on this. And the very first thing we'll be asked is what is the description of this? So I will go ahead and I will edit the description so that it matches my first slide. And I will also change out my subject to accessibility test, kind of my subheading here. And under author, we'll use Lewis University Faculty Center. We'll select OK. Next, we'll be asked uh, what the language for this document is. Do we want to make the output a searchable image? and I'm going to say yes on both of those as well. You'll notice that we're going through a conversion process and it wants to know is this a form? I'm going to say no. And then we're going to set the reading language to English, although we could set the reading language to something else. Then it says uh, Acrobat will detect all figures in this document and it says there are no figures missing alternative text. That's one thing that was embedded in our previous export from PowerPoint when we did the accessibility checker. We'll run through the accessibility checker and once we get our report back, you'll notice that we have two issues on the left hand side. And I'll navigate down to each one of these. One of them is reading order, needs a manual check. Let's go ahead and close this sidebar. We can take a look here that our problems, our logical reading order needs manual check. To fix this, we move to the right and select accessibility. Next, I will look for reading order and select reading order. Once reading order has been selected, a dialog box will appear for reading order. Notice that all of my options are unavailable until I select the area that I would like to edit. We're going to edit this area in particular because if you look at it closely, you'll see that there is a P next to the basic PowerPoint. This is not a paragraph. This should probably be set to a heading, so we need to tag and reorder this as a heading. Once we select on this, we can reset this. I'll choose heading one for this. We can also check the figure, and that is a figure. 
I'm comfortable with that. In the lower corner of our box, we will show the order panel and advance to page two. On page two, if you look closely at it, you can see that it has done the same thing with the heading. It thinks it's a paragraph. I'm going to set that to heading again. And it does okay with our list here, so we'll leave that alone and we'll check the third page. Third page also has a problem with the tag in particular uh, because it's viewing it as a paragraph, so we'll reset that to heading. And you can see that the figure itself uh, also works. We can check the accessibility uh, one more time by running the full check. So let's start checking. And we'll get the same document. So it thinks that we have still issues, but we've manually checked these. So we'll right select and we'll reset these to passing. The other challenge that we have is the checker would like us to review color contrast and this is only done manually. To access this you need to go under the menu for the software and you choose the preferences tab. And under preferences you navigate to accessibility. You're looking for the tab that says use high contrast colors. There's a few defaults here. Uh, I personally like to use black text on white, but here's an example of what green on black would look like. You can see that it's changed the background for our slides. I'll go ahead and I will reset that to black text on white and select OK. And then I will manually set that to pass. If you'd like, you can look through. Um, we would get an alert if there are any other problems here. So our document appears to pass all of the tests in terms of accessibility. So really the only thing left for us to do at this point is to go under our file menu and do a save as so we can save all of the work that we have just put forward and then determine where you'd like this file to go. The other possibility is let's say you don't want to save this uh, you can always revert by closing out the tab or the file itself and select Don't Save, and all of the changes that you made will technically revert. Lastly, we can navigate back over into our Blackboard shell and see that, as we said, using Acrobat, we can achieve 100% accessibility score on a PDF file. We can upload that. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.